Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, it's Saturday, so we're gonna go out here and do some work on this truck. Uh, not gonna get to the front end, or as far as putting it back together, is we can't get springs till Wednesday, so we're just gonna tear it apart, clean it up real good, and replace all the bushings and ball joints and all that stuff, and I guess next weekend we're putting it together. Uh, but anyway, hey, let's go out here and see what we can get done today, and uh, hey, Whatever we don't get done today, we'll hit it again tomorrow and play with it. All right, hang on. Here we go, people. We haven't got to <clears throat> get these things under the car from what's going on. But what we got is our holder. I'm having a hard time seeing, but our holder, our spark plug wire holder, or our cover, my bad. And we're going to set our thing in there like that. And, uh-oh, hang on. Hell, hell, hell. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like installed. And our two spark plug wires. Well, crap. It's hard doing this without a holder. Uh, they're gonna come straight out the spark plugs down to here, spark plug down to here. Then it's gonna go down to the oil pan. Then it's gonna come back up over and, un well, Let's go under here, if you can see. It's gonna go in here, the spark plugs are gonna go down to the pan, they're gonna go under the, uh, uh, crap, exhaust pipe, or behind it. And then it's gonna go back and come up under the back of the motor into the distributor, right there, yeah. All right, so you're not gonna be able to see anything, I can tell that by the sun angle, so I'm gonna, Stick a few of these under there, and then when the sun goes down a little bit, man, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, took a break from that for a few minutes. Started getting aggravated. My fingers are so big, it's hard to get that little bolt started. This should have been done with the engine out of it, but hey, it wasn't my call. But, huh, cleaned up under the truck, moved the truck, got it down off the car ramps in the back, yada, yada, yada. Trying to get it ready. Hang on. So we got it this far. Yeah, cleaned up, man. And if you don't live in a place with these pine trees, dude, you just don't know. Look at this. You know, I mean, it's and it's thick all the way out, man. I hate them things. As soon as I get the money, cutting them down. But anyway. Got it up off the ground. Uh, you wouldn't believe how big them tars are. Let's see. What size are them things? Uh, 31 by 10 and a half or 15. Uh, Lord, you got to jack forever to get them things up, but I finally got it. Uh, so right now we're looking, well, I'm trying to find, it's got these little hexagon tight lug nuts on here. I ain't really counting them. Heck, it might just be a 12 point socket. I don't know. Uh, but the tool forms around here somewhere. Trying to find the end so I can get them all. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to piddling with them spark plug wire keepers. And spark plug wire keepers are, they're, they're not fun. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I need it up off the ground anyway so I can get up there and put that one keeper under the, you know, on the oil pan and stuff. Uh, little update on the carburetor. All right, they're going to honor the warranty and they're just going to replace that carburetor. Thank God for that, man. Uh, but, hey, we may end up with the same piece of crap we got right now. Who knows? So, hang on. I'm, as soon as I can find this wrench, I'm going to take these tires off and play with them wire keepers some more and just keep going at it, you know, until tomorrow. Anyway, see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, still out here piddling. Got dark on me again after I got done mowing, so back here working on the pinion seal. You can see, you know, it's just leaking fluid everywhere. Uh, so got to get in there and change that. Uh, uh, let's see. I've already broke them all loose. I'm just, you know, piddling. Just trying to get it done. 
Let's see if we can get these off of here. <coughs> it turn, it'd help you turning the right way. Oh. I'm sure everybody knows how to take new uh, joints out, so there ain't no sense of keeping it around for this part. Hang on. Well, there you go, man. We got our new joint out. This thing is just caked full of crap. Uh, <laughs> I'll get down to that pinion bolt sooner or later. Uh, eh. One thing I got is brake cleaner, but it looks like it's just packed with dirt, grease, and all that kind of stuff. So hang on, we'll get that out and then we'll get to taking this out. All right, <clears throat> got her cleaned up. At least enough you can see the bolt now. Good grief. Uh, let's put us a mark on here for an alignment mark. Uh, let's go right here. Right. Now, let's put us one right on this. Well, crap. Now. There we go. All right. Uh, the reason we want to do this is we want this uh, pinion bolt to go right back in the exact same place. Uh, this thing's on there with a ton of crap. So I'm going to take an impact wrench and see if I can get it off there. Uh, there ain't no promises here. But we're going to give it a try. Let's see. See if we can get it to come out of there. She's coming. Ah, there she is. All right. Now. I don't have a seal puller, but I had this old antique uh, brake tool that I got when my grandfather passed away. I got first dibs at his tools, and dude, this thing works great for all kind of stuff. Let's see if I can get it in there. Uh-oh. This seal might not be nice. Come on. Hmm. Let's get her up here. Hey. Now, let's get her from the top. Well, crap. Come on. Uh, Oh, sorry. Shoot. 
I thought this would be simple. But here's the rim of our seal. So. Huh. It's gonna make me mad. Let's crush it. Come on. Now let's see. Well, let me get a screwdriver. Come on. Low. That thing is in there. Uh, where my chisel go? I'll get it out. Hang on. Compromise it enough, it's got to come out. see a gap in there. Can I get in it? Let's try it this way. It buzzed. Let's give it another try. Lord, that thing is in there. Alright, well, you see what I'm doing? Uh, give me a few minutes. I'll get this thing out of here. Hang on. All right, she's starting to come out. Man, that 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 seal is in there. There it goes. All right, pinion seal out. Don't have it till tomorrow. But, uh, hey, there's one thing out of the way. If this can go to the back, drain the fluid, and uh, have that ready to put, be, put, be put back together tomorrow. Hang on. If, if I can get over and catch you out, hang on. All right, we're back here oh, in the back of this thing. Of course, they got it jacked up before, which is making it a pain in the butt, but, uh, we're gonna, I see silicone, blue silicone right here. Somebody's already been in here. Let's see if I can break these loose, man. If not, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to cut you off and then we'll see what happens. Well, if I don't strip any of these out. Let's see. Yeah, and they're all corroded. Give me a minute and we'll get on it. All right, this stuff is ridiculous, man. It's caked up with tons of stuff. So, <coughs> sorry. You're gonna have to give me a few minutes, man, to knock all this crap off and spray her down with some JV, I mean, uh, PV blaster or something. And, Hopefully that will soak in the next 15 minutes. I'll get that done. Hang on. Well, guys. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. I done went in and ate dinner. I'm kind of tired. It's been a long day. So, we'll catch up on this tomorrow. Uh, all I like is, you know, the differential cover bolts. Draining that. And he'll be here tomorrow with, I'm sorry, let me back up where you can see me. Whoop, there we go. He'll be here tomorrow with the pain seal and the gasket and the piece to take the darn tires off. I, he made a mistake, put them in a toolbox he took home, so it wasn't here. 
And that's the reason I went to the rear end and started that stuff. But anyway, we will see you. Well, for me, it's going to be about eight, nine hours. But for you, it's going to be about one second. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Well, guys, it's the next day. Planning on getting a bunch of stuff done. But as you can see out here behind me, that nah, didn't turn out so well. Been raining since 9, 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Done some piddle stuff. Uh, go out there and show you here in a few minutes. It's supposed to quit around 5 o'clock, you know, about dark time. Uh, but anyway, be back in a few minutes with a little more. All right. Uh, starting to quit raining. Uh, it's too wet to get on the ground to get back under there. Um, so... I'm going to stick the air conditioner compressor on this thing. Um, maybe hook up some hoses from that and run them around where they need to go. Uh, we can't hook the whole thing up because uh, we've got some cleaner stuff we're going to run through this entire air conditioning system and clean it completely out because it's an R12 system. Uh, but anyway, that's side of the point. Uh, fix and do that, run the hoses over, not hook them up. Clean all that crap out, um, and then move on to something else. Cause, like I said, it's it's been raining. I'm not getting on the ground, you know, to get under the truck. But hey, this is what we got today. All right. So, he gets down here. This is something I'm gonna show you here in a minute. That uh, pinion seal. But we got our shocks. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. Well, I don't know what that box is right there. I guess I'll look at it here in a minute. We got our upper and lower ball joints. We got our uh, uh, sway bar bushings. Uh, oh, well, I'll check it out in a minute. Uh, we got our differential cover gasket. We got our tie rod, tie rods. Um, I'm not sure what the rest of this stuff is. Uh, tie rod, uh, tie rod. Uh, what's this right here? Well, I'll find a sticker in a minute. This has been open. <laughs> oh. Oh, control arm stud kit. Oh, two of them. I don't think he needs those. I think the guy just ordered the whole thing. Oh, I went through that. Here's a relay for the air conditioner we got to put in. Um, I think this is probably a pitman arm or idle arm. Uh, idle arm. Sorry. My bad. Idle arm. Uh, Pitman arm. So, we, so we pretty much got everything we need to do to put the front end under this thing except the springs, and they're going to be here Wednesday. Huh. Oh. You know, one step forward, five steps back. Uh, I don't know, this COVID stuff is just, I, I don't get why, I mean, I was working. All the factories I worked for was working. Uh, so I'm not understanding why every time you turn around, things you gotta be back order because they don't have it, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we was looking for the bottom out bumpers the, the little rubber pieces that go on the A-frames to keep the thing from bottoming out, top and bottom. Uh, yeah. Don't go to advance and try to buy that stuff. They don't have them. Uh, and from what I understand, uh, O'Reilly's don't have them. And we ain't checked, you know, AutoZone. We're just hitting all these little chain stores trying to get what we need. Uh, but... That's one thing we're missing. 
and I really don't want to tear into that thing, well, tear into it, tear it apart, but I don't want to put it back together until we have all the pieces. Uh, so, anyway, give you a little view of all the stuff we got, do the front end and all that kind of stuff, and I'm fixing to go out there here in a few minutes as soon as I can get some help rounded up. I'm going to throw the air conditioner back on this thing. Like I said a while ago, run the hose over to where it hooks up, and that's as far as I'm going to go on that because the cleaning. Uh, but anyway, I'll at least get something done today. <coughs> Took a look at this box. It is, let me turn it around. It is the control arm shaft. So this one's probably the upper. The other ones over there is probably the lower. Uh, for y'all that don't know, um, this year model truck, hang on. This year model truck does not have uh, control arm bushings. It's metal to metal. And uh, it's got grease zerks or grease fittings, whatever you want to call them. On each end, you're supposed to keep greased. And it's got a little rubber sleeve over the top of that to keep the grease in and you know it does its thing uh but this thing's been sitting around so darn long well i figured it was a good idea to change that all right here all right let's talk about this rear cleaning seal for a minute this is the original one i took out all right just standard seal We've got two in the boxes over here. This is the other one. Uh, the one that comes closest to fitting that thing. Uh, I've put it over, the whole size is the same, but the way this thing fits in here, I do know that they, they had a problem with uh, seals not sealing right. Uh, so you can see this seal, right? and it sits about even with the back. This one is indented a little bit. Can you see it? So it's about, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. And it sits out front a little bit farther. All this is still the same, you know. So I gotta make sure this seal's gonna do what it's supposed to do, yada, yada, yada. Um, but hey, if it moves it up on that, that uh, crap, you joint adapter or whatever, and gets it out of that same position, uh, then it's definitely gonna seal a lot better. Uh, but hey, that's still up for whatever. Uh, I don't know, but we're gonna, check that out uh, but there you go that's about the end of it and we're gonna go out here and deal with the uh air conditioning thing all right hang on all right <clears throat> we're in the middle of replacing seals on this old thing this is the old one sorry this is the old one uh let's get our new one. all right but we gotta get all this crap out of here. Oh, my man. And just, you know, soak up all that oil. Uh, so, here in a few minutes, man, we're gonna stick this thing back on there, at least have that thing out of the way. Hang on. All right, we got it all cleaned out. Same thing we did to this one. We wanna, uh oh. That gasket was, yeah. I let it fall on the ground a while ago. So we're gonna put all these back in here. All right, so now we're ready to install this uh, air compressor. Uh, he was wanting me to drain the oil out of this air compressor, and uh, you know I don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, I think this might be the drain. They used to have one in the back, but you know 
the brackets in the way, so there ain't no one in the back. But I think that's it. Now, I think this compressor holds like three, four ounces of oil. So, we're just going to see how this turns out. I really don't... I, if you can find oil that's compatible with the R12 stuff, uh, that'd be the best thing to do. Um, drain that thing, yeah. Find your little measuring cup, you know, whatever you drain out, put back in it. Uh, but if you can just charge it up with, uh, what well, I think they call it retro oil or whatever, that'll run between the R12 and the 134A, then uh hey that's the best way to go anyway fix and install this thing on the truck and then i can get on with some other stuff hang on all right guys finally got some help we are going to attempt to put this air compressor on this thing all right <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, you'll have to line it up. I'll hold it. Oops, there you go. That thing is. Go oh, just look through the hole. There you go. All right. We're attempting. You get three turns on that thing, let me know. <laughs> this thing is heavy. All right. All right. Let's line up the bottom or the next one. Uh. It should be somewhere in there. Ah, wait a minute. Ah. All right, here we go. Ah. Are we in close? Look in there. Look down in there. Yeah, I'm all around up. Do I need to go up or? Yeah, hold on. Can't see shit. <laughs> uh. Uh. All right, we're gonna get it, folks. All right, put it in there. Hey, right, yeah, bring this. Yeah. It should be pretty close right there. Can you not see that? I can't see nothing from over here. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to have to go get a lineup share. All right, guys. Uh, when you're messing with something heavy, like this air compressor, uh, get one bolt started. Uh, I'm not sure you can see everything. Here we go. Um, in a corner somewhere. And then get you. It still ain't there. Here, let me just hold there it. it is. Get you a tapered um, Crap. punch. And use that as a lineup tool. So you can get to this other one without wearing the guy out that's holding the stuff. So here, this is what we're, we're, we're fixing to stick it in there. Can you see? Yeah, it's your right middle fingers on it. Yeah. It should pretty much screw in. We hope. Is it trying? I knew this was gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, what you got, what you got? Fuck. Oh, he's wanting a bite. Look here, look here. <coughs> Take this one, stick it in that hole, and not hold it where you line it up yet. Oh, shit, yeah, I need to come way up. Yeah, hold it right there. There we go. Hmm. What the 
Like, hey, it, I knew it was going to be a pain in the ass. That's the reason I asked for help. Could you man stand there here and do this by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. To it there we go, bitch. You get her? Got to tighten them two bolts down. Uh, then I can wrap, you know, our PCB valve out. Figure out what I got to do for a holder back here on this. Oh, sorry. On this right here and uh, change the radiator hose. See y'all in a minute. Uh, this will start raining again. Uh, but anyway. Got the air conditioner mounted up. Uh, what else did we do? We hooked up all of our stuff to our windshield washer pump. Got our windshield wipers working. Uh, this is, if you all been watching this, you see where I said this, you know, it's not the right motor there, you know, alternator's on the wrong place. But here's a dead giveaway. Let's see if I can get you in there. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. And this is the actual radiator hose for a 1970 C10 with air. So that right there shows you again, alternator goes over here. So we're gonna have to get a different hose. I think I looked around on a bunch of cars on, you know, Facebook or not Facebook, but YouTube, people working on them. And the closest thing I can find is the 1970 Chevrolet. Uh, that hose comes out and bends in front here and then bends back into it. So we're going to get one of those and see how that works. <clears throat> we got a fan shroud for it. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to work. I think he's going to have to downsize the fan a little bit. Uh, this is a 19 and a half inch fan. The circle in the fan housing or whatever. Is only 20 inches, so that's only gonna give you a quarter inch around that thing. And if there's any time kind of misalignment, it's gonna be a pain. So, still got that to go. Waiting on the car bear to get back. Uh, like I said, that's about it. We didn't get a whole bunch done because of the rain and all that stuff, but I piddled till I got it, you know, what I could do. So, this video is getting kind of long. Uh, yeah, I done got grease all over this shirt, but anyway. This video getting kind of long. I'm going to cut it off right here and then uh, piddle around with it this week, during the week, a little bit in the evenings. See what else I can get done. Um, this next weekend, <laughs> Saturday, my oldest boy is getting married. So, yeah, out of the shop for that. But Sunday, uh, we're supposed to have carburetor, springs, all that. So, maybe we'll get something done this Sunday. I don't know. But anyway, we'll shoot up another one here, you know, about the end of the week. Uh, hope things are going good in your world. Hope things are good in your life and things are treating you right. Uh, appreciate y'all, you know, subscribing, commenting, just checking things out. Uh, anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Everybody take care.